The UN Arab League envoy Lakhtar Brahimi is on his way to Damascus for talks with the Syrian government. He's due to meet President Bashar al-Assad and Foreign Minister Walid Mualem. Brahimi is trying to build support for peace talks planned in Geneva next month, but the main rebel groups have refused to take part. Well, Brahimi's visit to Damascus is part of an extensive regional tour. He's already been in Iraq, Egypt, Kuwait, Amman and Qatar. Also on Wednesday, he met the King of Jordan, a country hosting over half a million Syrian refugees. The next day, he held talks with leaders of the Free Syrian Army in Turkey and other military commanders fighting against the government. And on Sunday, he met Iran's president, telling him that his country's presence is necessary for the Geneva talks to succeed. Hoda Abdul Hamid joins us now live from Beirut. And Hoda, we're expecting Brahimi to be arriving in Damascus within about a couple of hours' time. But what is expected from the visit? Well, he does have a very difficult uh, mission. You know, since the Geneva One conference uh, last year, nothing has really changed in the positions of either side. And I think this morning the... Uh, state control media in Syria was very uh, clear uh, saying that you know sort of saying that he is welcome to come uh, to Syria but he should come uh, with no preconditions and he should not represent the point of view of one party that was basically the main complaint uh, last time Lahdar Ibrahimi went uh, to Syria some of the media there also went further and actually mocked him as an aging tourist so it's going to be very difficult uh, you know the opposition has said all along it will not go to uh, the Geneva 2 conference if uh, there is no talk about uh, Assad leaving power uh, there is no talk about uh, the transition from the regime of Bashar al-Assad to a new government. On the other hand, you know, lately Bashar al-Assad has indicated that he thought that there was nothing really that could stop him from running again for elections next year in 2014 when uh, there should be Syrian presidential elections, even though he did not say whether he would run or not. But certainly uh, for Lahdar Ibrahimi, it's going to be very difficult. So really, uh, prospects for Geneva 2 looking pretty dim. They are looking pr pretty dim also because of the fact that the opposition doesn't agree on what to do or whether to go or not. You have a group of uh, rebel factions, about 20 of them, who actually issued a statement saying that they would consider traitors, anyone who went to the uh, Geneva 2 talks, anyone who sat at that table. So certainly you, dis you still have that issue of a fractured opposition not being able to have one voice. And on the other hand, you have a Syrian government that at the moment feels maybe a bit strong uh, it just put uh, put in its um, file on chemical weapons and its chemical programs and how it plans to destroy it on time to the uh, UN inspectors so on one hand it, probably the Syrian government feels well at the moment we are satisfying the international community mainly the US and Russia and on the other side maybe we at this particular moment we can still hold some ground